Today we're going to level up your game when it comes to Advanced Warehouse with a feature that not a lot of people know about. When it comes to parsing out work using Advanced Warehouse, most people rely on the mobile device just to grab the next work for the worker. So you might have zones where, the, where it's filtering out by zone or whatever, but most, most companies rely on that mobile device. Another method that a lot of people use is they, they'll print off the work record, the work report, hand it to the person, they'll scan the work and they'll do it by individual work. So they kind of manual, they kind of, you know, manually assign the work that way by giving the, the actual printed report. Another way that a lot of people do it is they'll, they'll use the work list um, in the mobile device and the person can scan through and, and identify what, what piece of work they want to use. What a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually manually assign in the system work to a, a user. So then that, that specific piece of work will go to their mobile device. So like any process like this, there are upsides and downsides. At the end of the video, I'll come back and kind of tell you some little downsides that you may want to think about when you implement this process. But you'll notice that this is surprisingly easy to do. So let's just take a look and see how to do it. All right, so where we're gonna to go to do this is we're gonna go into warehouse management and we're just gonna go underneath the all work screen. And what I've done created for us is a sales order work there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that work and open it up. So to actually assign the work, it's very simple. We're just gonna go up to the work column there and click on change user. You're gonna select your user. I had S gains earlier, so it's just remembered that. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna assign that to S gains. Now we'll notice that the once that's assigned, you see, notice the lock by is set to S gains now. Um, so what I want to do is I've added, created a view here. So I'm going to close out of the screen here and change the standard view on the work screen to, to a view that I created. I just called it my view and I added two fields here. So I added a, the locked by field, which is the assigned user. And then there's another field that's manually assigned a user. So that gets checked when that's manually assigned. So let's go and take a look where we can use this. So we're gonna go into warehouse management and the mobile device, mobile device menu items. And the menu that I'm gonna use this on is, is the work list. So I'm gonna scroll down here and grab the work list. And then specifically, I wanna look at the query. Now notice in the query, I've got that manually assigned user set to yes. So it's only gonna show me work that's been manually assigned to the user. Now you can uh, not include this and it will show the the user, the assigned work and the unassigned work. But for this one, I just wanted to show the work that was assigned to the, to the user there, all right? So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the mobile device. So I'm gonna log in as 24. So remember we assigned the work to S gains. So when I go into 24 and go to my outbound menu, cause it was sales picking work and go to the work list, uh, we'll see that there's no work assigned because I assigned it to S gains. Now, if I go and sign out and go and sign in as S gains, if I can type right there, uh, go ahead and sign in, go ahead and go to the outbound menu and then go to the work list. I'll see that now there's my work. Okay. So this is going to show me any work that's assigned to me. So if I didn't put that query in there, it would show any work that was, was, was unassigned, but this is just going to show the work that's assigned. If you've got a large volume warehouse and you're trying to manually assign all work, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to do. So you want to kind of use this sparingly unless you're on a lower volume warehouse um, because you'll end up with your users complaining, oh, this is difficult to do, do. But if you've got specific scenarios where you'd like to assign work or if you've got specific orders you need somebody to go pick very quickly, it's a very handy feature to have. In this video, I didn't show you all the setups for the Advanced Warehouse. There's, there's a lot of setup underneath this, and if you're, if you're new to Advanced Warehouse, maybe you don't know um, all the different setups that I'm doing here in the video. I've linked a playlist here that kind of shows the beginning steps of Advanced Warehouse. If you go through that playlist, it's a good starter, and it'll get you started off on the right foot.